security is top of mind this year. Body scanners are new at middle schools and continuing at high schools. Students will walk through them every morning to make sure weapons are not brought onto campus. WFMY News 2's Hunter Funk is live at Northeast Middle School with all you need to know. Hey, Hunter. Yeah, good morning, you guys. I will say it's quiet now. The students aren't here yet at Northeast Middle School, but we've seen a couple buses leave, so that means they're very close to it. And we've even, we're up so early, the chickens are just starting to wake up, so parents hang in there. Well, ahead of today, GCS outlined their 12 point safety plan to ensure parents have peace of mind ahead of the first day of school. During the spring, 41 schools were converted to new video management system. More than 1,800 cameras were upgraded through that process. During the summer, GCS began the process of adding cameras to schools that previously had little coverage and began replacing old cameras throughout high schools. The added security cameras give the district more than 7,500 camera angles throughout 124 schools. Something new for students are touchless body scanners inside the district's 22 middle schools. Now this comes after GCS saw success at 26 high schools. Last year, four guns were found on four high school campuses and body scanners detected two of those. We spoke with Mike Ritchie, the assistant superintendent for school safety and emergency management at GCS on Sunday. He says the community can also help fight against any violence by working together. Talk to your children about how to resolve issues with others and not jumping to violence. Now the SROs play a great role along with our staff, the teachers and, and principals in creating those relationships. SROs are not typically on school for enforcement. That's not their main purpose. Their main purpose is to set that example and to build a relationship with children to prevent the fights from ever occurring about it a lot, that bond project. A lot of that money is helping with a majority of these safety projects, and that includes the, uh, excuse me, the cameras that are going in schools. 75% of those installments have been done, and they're continuing to work on that.